Welcome to this guide on getting started with Folium. This is going to be a short introduction on how to pip install Folium, uh, how to create your first Folium map file, uh, as well as adding a first marker to the map file. So yeah, you can create some basic stuff. Uh, so I have a clean uh, pip install. So if we look, we have no packages installed. Uh, and in order to get Folium installed, we need to go to the PyPy website and we can see that we can write pip install folium. So we'll copy and paste that into the terminal and install folium uh, as a package. And in the meantime we'll create the start of our main program. We'll write uh, import folium and we'll create our starting point right here. And to make sure everything's working we'll uh, start with a print. So Folium looks to be installed, so then the import Folium should work. And it does. So we see hello, no errors. So let's get started with what we need to do. We can need to create some uh, variables, or create variables. <laughs> Don't know why I write some. <laughs> variables. All right, then we create the Folium map. We want to add a marker to the map uh, and we also want to uh, store the map to a file. And so we're storing the map to a file, it's going to be an HTML file and that is where you can see your created Folium map basically. So let's start by creating the Folium map and see what variables we need along the way. So the way we create one is we save some variable name, so this is going to be our Folium map, we're going to vmap, um, we're going to write Folium dot map with a capital M and we're going to give it the uh, center coordinate um, as well as a starting zoom so zoom start equals I don't know for example 9 so this is how far your map is zoomed in or out once you open it for the first time and this center coordinate is a variable we'll create and it's the latitude and longitude of the place the map will start at um, so the easiest thing to do is to go to Google Maps uh, we'll zoom out somewhere, we'll go to Germany and right click, copy the coordinates and we'll paste them in here. So this is where our map will start out. Um, and then before placing any marker, we'll already store the file so we can look at it as we add the marker itself. So let's write vmap.save and then in the save we can give the file path. So this is another, another variable I'm going to add, say map file path equals to folium dash map dot html all right and i'm going to put it in the save and i'm going to run our program python main all right i spelled python wrong <laughs> python main perfect no errors as we can see and we can see on the left a file has been created i'm going to add it to the side so we can see it um, as we add the marker and I'm going to go to my directory of this project and I'm going to open the Folium map we just created. So double click that. And as you can see, we have the Folium map, but there's no markers, but it is at the location we marked as the center coordinate. And it has some specific zoom. And if we move away and refresh, we'll see it's at our center coordinate again. Uh, all right. And here we can see the code. So it's the creating the map and then creating the tiles of the map basically and we'll see the code for the marker being added as we add it in Folium. So the way we add a marker or a circle in our case is by typing folium dot, uh, uh, vector layers dot circle, and the circle has a couple parameters namely the location of the circle I hope I can spell correctly location yeah which is going to be a top or a latitude and longitude again, just like the center coordinates. For now, I think I'll, I don't know, maybe it's confusing. I'll say uh, marker chord equals some other coordinates, which I'll quickly copy from Google Maps. So maybe a little bit to the left or something. All right, so they're a little bit different. So we're going to have the marker coordinates. And we can give some co uh, some more options, so that's the tooltip, which is the text or HTML you see once you hover over the marker. 
uh, we can also add the radius so since it's a circle we want to indicate the size which is going to be some numeric value I'm going to create a variable for that as well radius um, maybe I'll write the word marker in front of it a little bit consistent and we'll say uh, you have you indicated in meters so we say uh, 25 kilometers basically radius equals radius marker radius my bad um, what else are we going to create we need the uh, color of the marker so it's some circle with a certain color and you can give any value that you could in CSS so you can give some hex value uh, you can probably as well give like a what do you call that like a gradient uh, but in our case we're just going to say red we can also say that we want to fill the circle uh, so we're going to say true uh, and we also want to indicate the fill color which is going to be red as well okay so we uh, create a circular marker at this location with this hover tooltip this radius this color and we want to fill it um, and the tooltip is going to be uh, this uh, circle has radius something marker radius all right and i'm going to make this an f string uh, so we can put the radius in there and then i'm going to call instead of circle i'm going to write marker because it makes more sense and i'm going to write execute the program again and we can look right here what happens to the folium map file basically as we add it all right so you can see nothing happened <laughs> and it's because i forgot one small part and that is the reference to the folium map so we say folium create some circle add it to some location but we don't have any reference to this vmap so we'll do dot add to vmap and this makes sure it's added to this actual map and uh, become something visual so python main and here we see the circle has been added um, and i believe yeah it shows the hover message as well so let's go to the browser again this is our folium this is our folium map <laughs> and we'll refresh it and there we see our marker with our hover text so this is basically the most basic introduction to folium you can have you can now create a map and place some markers you can read some of the folium documentation to uh, see what other markers you can place and the next tutorials will be uh, creating paths placing different markers and the tutorials are going to end with um, viewing coordinates in folium so it would be useful to be able to hover with your mouse or click and see coordinates and then the next step would be uh, to add a feature which folium doesn't have which is to extract the coordinates and get them as python variables so click on a couple locations and be able to um, uh, add them to a list in python and play around with them create different shapes or you know see if lines intersect perhaps stuff like that all right so i hope it was helpful please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more and uh, i'll see you in the next part